overflows. Without heart-centered open, love is impossible. Unless heart center starts functioning again, man will not be capable of love. You can pretend or can call something as love. Mind is the center of logic. Heart is the center of trust. So love is a function of trust. Trust for transformation, trust for growth. Really, when you fall in love, your reason, your logic is thrown completely. In that moment, you do not listen to any logic or reason. That is why it is said that man falls in love. But when we say falling in love, that means what? Falling from where? Falling from mountain to the valley? Falling from anywhere? It is fall from head into the heart, from logic to trust. If you do not trust yourself and your partner, love is not possible. It will not blossom. It will not flower. So for love, we use verily a phrase falling in love. It is so because had the reason cannot look at it without condemning it so it is considered a fall. Is really love a fall or a rising? It happens. In the beginning, it is a journey from reason or logic to trust. Trust in your energy and Trust in togetherness, but after some time, the logic begins to creep into it because we have not understood the connection between love and sex. Sex is the mud, and out of this mud, the lotus of love has to blossom, and it happens in the absence of awareness, in the absence of meditativeness, the lotus does not grow out of mud. Instead, something else begins to happen. Love is when you move from head to heart. It is for the growth of the lotus of love out of the mud of sex, duality. Love is oneness, both inner and inner and outer. So the question comes in, do you become more with love or you become less? If you do not know, if meditation has not entered, the domain of your love in the in the gross root meditation comes like a fertilizer meditation comes like a sunlight it comes like the bliss the rain of bliss when this element is added to the gra gross root from where the process of the blossoming of love has to begin does not happen and then logic comes back and it comes back much stronger and then instead of expanding you begin to shrink 
with love you become more with your consciousness is more your feeling is more your ecstatic sensation is more your sensitivity enhances your ecstatic sensation is more your sensitivity is more you are more alive but one thing is less that is reasoning and reasoning is less that is when out of the fertilized mud of sex the journey of lotus of love begins you cannot reason it out it is blind as far as reason is concerned heart has its own reason has its own eyes has its own way of looking at the things heart has its own reason that is another thing and heart has its own eyes that too is another thing the eyes of reason are not there no reason says that so reason says it is a fall you have fallen therefore unless the heart center begins to open and begins to function again man will not be capable of love the lotus of love will not blossom will not emerge out of the mud with without a trace of mud into it and the whole misery of the modern life is because unless he loves he cannot feel any meaning in life love is the only meaning in life life looks meaningless love when it blossoms out of the only when it blossoms out of the mud of sex that gives a meaning to life love is the only meaning unless you are capable of love you will be meaningless your life will be insipid like a desert and you will feel that you are existing without any meaning most of us feel like that futility and suicide becomes attractive then many things come sin the dance disappears the song disappears from life instead there remains life becomes a barren of unfertile soil where nothing grows then you will like to kill yourself finish yourself mere existing cannot be tolerated existence must have a meaning otherwise your existence must have a meaning otherwise what is the use why go on prolonging yourself unnecessarily if there is no song there is no dance and your feet is like a feather why go on repeating the same pattern every day this is what happens when you fail in first love light love life then you feel that maybe the second time it happens when one or two times it does not happen you feel what is the use of prolonging unnecessarily why go on repeating the same pattern everything getting out of the bed and going and doing the same thing again and again falling asleep the next day the same pattern you have done it for so long and what had happened nothing and you will do it unless death comes and relieves you of your body so what is the use love is the meaning in life it is not that true love any result comes into being or any goal no 
through love every moment becomes of great value a song a dance then anything that you do becomes a dance of fulfillment a song of fulfillment then you never ask this if someone asks what is the meaning of life know well that love is absent in his life introspect is there love in your life what whatever whenever someone asks what is the meaning of life he is asking because he has not been able to flower in a love experience when the love experience flowers in you its fragrance and beauty and luster surrounds you love has not yet blossomed in your life whenever someone is in love he never asks what is the meaning of life his feet his gesture everything reflects that the love the lotus of love has blossomed he knows the meaning there is no need to ask he knows the meaning the meaning is there love is indeed the meaning in life love indeed is the meaning in life therefore remember unless heart center opens love is not possible so journey of love is journey from reason to trust from head to heart enough for me